It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax, so we'll sing, chat, and laugh on the Curious Giraffe Show. Welcome back, everybody. And Megan, could you hold up Jeanette? She's our chatty friend. George is our quiet friend. And Jeanette will find out who's who on the Curious Crew today. What's your name? Milo. Hi, Hi Milo. Milo. What's your name? Maeve. Hi, Hi Maeve. Maeve. What's your name? Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. What's your name? Aurora. Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. What's your name? Carla. Hi, Hi Carla. Carla. What's your name? Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. What's your name? Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. What's your name? Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. Dorothy. Philip. Hi, Hi Philip. Okay, so Thank now we're going to sing the Curious Giraffe song and find out what, learn a little more about Philip. Let's find out. Here we go. Giraffe, Giraffe looked over at an eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know we're but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at the visitor and said, I wonder how he's feeling. Would he like to be my friend? The visitor smiled and said, let the fun begin underneath this one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. So this is my friend Philip Alexander. I met him through a wonderful group called the Children's Music Network. So Philip, you brought us some music and ideas today, and we're happy to get to know you. Well, Dorothy, thank you so much for inviting me to be here with this wonderful group of friends. And speaking of friends, our first song is about friends, because I know that we're doing a theme, and our theme is the letter F. And the best, one of the best words Faithful with... Faithful friends. Faithful friends. Faithful <laughs> friends, great. that's right. It, friends is one of the Love best friends. words that starts with F. Because we all know that when you are hanging out with friends, friends, you are probably having what? Starts fun. with an F. <laughs> yes, <laughs> probably having mm -hmm. fun. So I'm just going to write that really big here because that is the most important... Uh, most important thing that we want to remember about friends is to be nice to our friends and have fun with them. Oh, fun! Yeah, right. exactly. So let's oops, let's sing a song about friendship, and it's called "The More We Get Together, The Happier We'll Be." And we'll start with the sign language. All right, I'll try it with you. Oh, the more we, we get together. together 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 oh the more we get together the happier we'll be because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends and the more we get together the happier we'll be Oh, let's try it in this key here, and I'll play the guitar and see if you can do the sign language. Ready? Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. And the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Do you 
think you can remember all the words and the signs? Let's find out. I'll play the harmonica while you sing it. One, two, three. The more we get together. Good job. Thanks. Thanks for singing about friends with me. Right now, I'd like to sing a song about one of the founding fathers. Those were the people who helped get our country started and organized. There is a founding father whose last name starts with F. Anyone know who it was? His first name was Ben. That's a clue. Ben, Benjamin. Franklin? Franklin, that's right. So let me just write his name in here. That was really good that you guessed that. Um, a lot of people know George Washington. Not everyone knows that Franklin uh, came from Boston. That's right. And when he was a kid, his family was working really hard. He had to stop school and go to work in his father's candle factory when he was 10 years old. Mm. He didn't like it because it was really hot and stinky in the candle <laughs> factory. That's why he quit and became a printer. And eventually, he learned how to do so many things. It was amazing. He was an inventor, a writer, a leader, and that's what this song is all about. And wait, I'm gonna give you three ways that you can be part of this song. The first thing is, when I say he flew a kite with a key attached, please put your kite up, like that, way up high as you can and put a key on the kite. And when I say lightning struck and he got zapped, let's do it. That was pretty good, but let's get, let's make it really loud. Excellent. And the second thing is when I say who, your answer to that question is always Franklin, of course. So let's try that. Who? Franklin, of course. And the last one is when I say he wouldn't wear the wig, so I used to wear those funny white curly wigs, when I say he wouldn't wear the wig when they did the silly dance, we're all going to jump up and do a silly dance. <laughs> okay, that comes at the end. Okay. And here's your part you can sing. La 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 Printer, inventor, diplomat too. So many things that Ben Franklin could do. Kites, he flew a kite with a key attached. Lightning struck and he got zapped. La 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 Poor Richard's almanac printed the news with jokes and advice that a farmer could use. The mail was delivered by a coach and horse. The first postmaster was Franklin, of course. Who was it? Franklin, of course. La 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 Writer, statesman, scientist too. So many things that Ben Franklin could do. He flew a kite with a key attached. Lightning struck and he got zapped. La 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 He invented a wood stove to keep his house warm. A rod to catch lightning kept it safe in a storm. He signed the treaties that ended the wars. We're talking about Ben Franklin, of course. Who did all that stuff? Franklin, of course. La 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 la
Ben signed his name on that great declaration. He helped write the laws that gave birth to our nation. They liked him in England and they loved him in France. But he would not wear the wig when they did the silly dance. Get ready, it's turkey time. La 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 you might have noticed in the song I said they liked him in England, but they loved him in France. Ben Franklin was the ambassador to France. And France is a country that starts with what letter? F. Starts with F. And what is the capital city of France? Paris. 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 And who knows, what is the most famous building in all of Paris? Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, that's no, right. Paris. So we're going to sing a song about the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is a dancing song. Let's stand right up, and we're going to do a little dance. There's a part for you. When, we, when I say, ooh la la, try that with me. Say, ooh la la. Ooh la la. The Eiffel Tower. And when we say the Eiffel Tower, I want you to hold your hands up, reach up, and make an Eiffel Tower with somebody. We'll all put our hands together. Okay, or all together, yes, make an Eiffel Tower. We can do, you can do it. All together or with the partner? partner? Either way you want, okay? okay. All right. We could try it all together. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Bonjour Paris. In 1887, they built a tower up to heaven. A symbol in steel of progress and power. This is your shining hour. Here we go. Ooh la la, the Eiffel Tower. Good job. Oh, I like it. Now I have something in my musical picnic basket here that I'm going to play, and you can pretend to play one of these. It's called a kazoo. <laughs> That is great. I'm yeah, very impressed. Awesome. Well, while we're traveling, I would like to take you to Mexico because it's one of my favorite places to travel. Mexico. I love the. Mm -hmm. I have many friends from Mexico. I love the people. I love the culture. I love the food. I love the music. And the music. <laughs> well, we're going to have a little bit of culture, food, and music right here with a song called Senorita Rita. And, oh, yes, Maddie. Um, 
ice cream is my favorite. <laughs> do they have ice cream in Mexico? I think they do. Don't they call it helado, I think. Helado. Ice cream is your favorite food. I like the rainbow kind. Let's find out what your favorite foods Let's are. What's your favorite food? Um, My favorite food is mostly... Burritos. Burritos, Burritos. good. Are we Mexico. talking Mexican food or just food in general? Any kind of food, really. Salad. Salad. Um, my favorite thing to eat is um, sandwiches and cheese. Sandwiches mm -hmm. and cheese. Sushi. Sushi. Oh. I yum. love sushi good too. Good taste. Um, fish. Fish. Very good. Um, Cheese quesadillas. Cheese quesadillas. Mm -hmm. We've got a really healthy crew here. Gelato. Gelato. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like we've got a feast. All right. It's How so hard yours? to pick. Well, I think one I'm of going favorites. to pick one of my favorites, and that's clementines when they're cold. Clementines. Oh, yeah. nice. I love those. Well, food. I'm going to tell you my favorite food is tacos, especially <gasps> fish tacos. Tacos. I love tacos. But to make a taco or a quesadilla, someone mentioned quesadillas. We need to make a tortilla. And Senorita Rita makes them by hand, the old-fashioned way. So pretend you have a lump of cornmeal, and we're going to, let me put this down for just a sec to show you. We're going to be making a tortilla like this, okay? Milo, can you help us make a tortilla too? Like this, okay? While we're making tortillas, please say this after me. Senorita Rita. Senorita Rita. She makes the corn tortillas. She makes the corn tortillas. She lives in a cabana. She lives in a cabana. In her yard, she grows bananas. In her yard, she grows bananas. Yes, cabanas are like a little shack. The roof's right over your head. And bananas have enormous leaves, okay? So, there is just two more things you need to know. One is, Ran, uh, Senor Juan Rivera loves to sing rancheras. We're going to play guitar, pretend you're playing guitar, because he sings Mexican country songs. Those are called rancheras. And we're going to go to a fiesta a little bit later in the song. Anyone know what a fiesta is? A fiesta is a feast. It's a feast or a party. That's right. So we're going to go to a fiesta and we're going to dance. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Grab your lump of cornmeal. Show me how you make a corn tortilla. That's right. And to start us out, we're going to count to three in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Senorita Rita, she makes the corn tortillas. She lives in a cabana in her yard. She grows bananas and she sings all day. La le lo le, la le lo le lo le lo le. That's right, every verse we're gonna end with two claps, two claps, two claps, and then a little shimmy. That's right. Otra vez, Senorita Rita, she makes the corn tortillas. She lives in a cabana in her yard. She grows bananas and she sings clap all day. La le lo le, la le lo le lo le lo le. Get ready for Senor Juan. Let's play our guitars, la guitarra. Uno, dos, tres. Senor Juan Rivera, he loves to sing rancheras. By day he's selling coco, but at night he's dancing loco and he sings all day. La le lo le, la le lo le lo le lo le. Are you ready for a fiesta? Let me hear you say fiesta. Fiesta. Uno, dos, tres. One night at a fiesta. Senor meet senorita. Into their eyes they gaze as the mariachi plays and they dance all day. La le lo le, la le lo le lo le lo le. Who's got some good dance moves they want to show? Right, very nice. Good. I love it. Now, get out your hammers. We're gonna make a taqueria. Can you show me what that would look like? What's that? Uno, dos, to, oh, uh, what's a taqueria? A yeah. taqueria is a restaurant. Oh, good. It's a restaurant where they serve tortillas. Uno, dos, tres. They built a taqueria where Rita makes tortillas. They laugh at their old photos. Now they're married with tres hijos. They sing all day. La le lo le, 
The little, little, little lame. The only thing is now, they need to go faster because they're trying to serve tortillas in their restaurant. You've got to make a lot of them, but they're still trying to do it by hand. Can you make your tortilla faster? Yes. Uno, dos, tres. Senorita Rita, she makes the corn tortillas. She lives in a cabana in her yard. She grows bananas and she sings all day. La le lo le, la le lo le lo le lo le. Ooh, I love it. You remembered and you were singing with me too. That was really good. Hmm. Does anyone here think they can go faster? All right. Uno, dos, tres. Senorita Rita, she makes the corn tortillas. She lives in a cabana in her yard. She grows bananas and she sings all day. La le lo le, la le lo le lo le lo le. Let's shimmy down low. And let's jump up as high as we can and yell ole on the count of three. Uno, dos, dos tres, ole! ole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bravo, my friends. I Yay. love it. Okay. Well, let's sit down and relax a bit because you've been dancing up a storm. And I also feel like it would not, would not be right to have a children's music show without at least one song about an animal. <laughs> oh, thank you. In fact, Senorita Rita was kind of a love story, right? She falls in love with Senor Juan. This story is, all, this song is also a love story. Only it involves Mr. Hmm, can you guess what animal? Starts with an F. Starts with an F. There's your Fox. <gasps> good guess. Good guess, but it's not Mr. Fox. Hmm. Well, let me give you a clue. I'm going to reach into my musical picnic basket and play something here, and maybe you'll be able to guess. Yes. All right, Carla. It looks like a frog. <laughs> frog. And it sounds Good like guess. a frog. We, we have it's one of those. It's a musical but it's frog. Black. And let's play a little game here called Pass the Frog. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep passing them around passing because I have enough for each of you to play a frog. Okay? So let's see. Oh, just pass that's them like right around. Okay. Some of them are that's big like that, some of them are small. And you take the stick out and you just rub it from the back to the front or the front to the back. And uh, you can, once you get it, you can go ahead and start playing it to get used to how it works and how it sounds. We got so many. Okay, Maddie, that one's for you to play, the one in your hand right there. Okay. Wow, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Oh, this one is really cute. Oh, look at this is a little tree frog right there. <laughs> okay. And yes, one more frog here. One more. All okay. Right. I sure. I'll tell you what, after a few verses, I'll tell you to trade, and um, and you can trade with somebody sitting next to you. Okay. Um, ooh, Listen cool. to all those frogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peepers. Oh. This song is oh. called Froggy Went a Courtin'. So let me write that in. And Mr. Frog Loves Miss Mouse. So here we go. Froggy went a courtin' and he did ride. And when I say mm-hmm, you can say mm-hmm. When I say ribbit, ribbit, you can say ribbit, ribbit. And, and so on. And song? you can keep playing the frogs all you want. Okay. Froggy went a courtin' and he did ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Froggy went a courtin' and he did ride. Mm -hmm. Froggy went a courtin' and he did ride with a sword and a banjo by his side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you make a knocking sound with the stick? He rode right to Miss Mousie's door. Knock, 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 knock. Rode right to Miss Mousie's door. Knock, 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 knock. Rode right to Miss Mousie's door, where he had been many times before. Knock, 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 knock. Let's trade frogs with someone. Trade frogs with one of your friends. And uh, try to make a ribbit sound again. Ribbit sound with your new frog. 
Got right down on his bended knee. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Got right down on his bended knee. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Got right down on his bended knee, and he said, Miss Mouse, will you marry me? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. What do you think Miss Mouse said? Yes, we have some optimists here. There we go. Well, she didn't say yes, but she didn't say no either. Oh. Tell you what she said. Kind of like a maybe. Without my Uncle Rap's consent. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Without my Uncle Rap's consent. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Without my Uncle Rap's consent, I would not marry the president. Mm -mm. Uncle Rat laughed till he shook his sides. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he said yes. Uncle oh. Rat laughed till he shook his sides. Yes, 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 yes. Uncle Rat laughed till he shook his sides. To think my niece is gonna be a bride. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Well, they decided to get married in the morning and serve a wedding breakfast. But what will the wedding breakfast be? Yum, yum. Yum yum. <laughs> what will the wedding breakfast be? Yum yum. Yum yum. What will the wedding breakfast be? I'd like to find out what you'd like for your wedding breakfast. I heard that Megan said she would like cake. Anybody else would like to tell what you'd like for your wedding breakfast? Sushi. All right, we got cake, we got sushi, we got ice cream, fruit. A lot of fruit, cantaloupes, watermelons, peaches, pears, pancakes. What would you like? Pancakes. Pancakes. Carlos says pancakes. Today says waffles. waffles. Milo, what would you like for your wedding breakfast? Cake. Cake. Okay, so we got sushi, waffles, pancakes, cake. Uh, fruit. Yeah, fruit. Fruit is a great F word. Fruit is a good F word, that's right. Well, um, that all sounds really good to me, so please say yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, really good. What will the wedding breakfast be? Yum, 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 yum. What will the wedding breakfast be? Yum, 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 yum. What will the wedding breakfast be? A fried mosquito and some moldy cheese. Does that sound good to you? <laughs> yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck. yuck, yuck. yuck, yuck. Let, me, let me hear that yuck, yuck again with the, with the yucky face like that. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck. yuck, yuck. But they did have a cake, but they didn't get to eat it. No, uh-uh. I'll tell you why. Last to arrive was a big black snake. Uh -oh. The last to arrive was a big black snake. Last to arrive was a big black snake. He ate up all of the wedding cake. And then he slithered over to Mr. Frog and Miss Mouse, and he opened his mouth really wide. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh no. no. They figured it was time to leave on their honeymoon. Can you guess where they went? Ooh la la, that's your clue. Ooh la la. A place where you... Yes, they went to Paris, France on their honeymoon. They left right away on their honeymoon. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. They left right away on their honeymoon. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. They left right away on their honeymoon. They sailed to France in a silver spoon. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. We'll put this story back on the shelf. That's all. That's all. Let's put the story on the shelf. That's all. That's all. Let's put the story back on the shelf. If you want some more, you'll have to sing it yourself. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Well, friends, thank you so much for playing the frogs with me and singing the Froggy Went a Court and Story and having a fiesta with Senorita Rita making the corn tortillas and traveling to 
France and climbing up the 1,700 steps of the Eiffel Tower. It was also fun to learn and share a little bit about Benjamin Franklin with you. And you know what? At this point, I feel like we, in this last half an hour, we've made friends. And I know I've had a lot of fun. So I hope that you have, too. Dorothy, is it time for our closing well, song? you told me about one other fun idea, that if we keep it to a short one, we can fit in a freeze song. A freeze F is for dance. freeze. Oh. A freeze dance. Let's do that. And then the goodbye. Oh, yes. Shall we collect? A party freeze Here, dance. Here, I'll that put all the like frogs. That's a great so idea. Okay, but we keep it short and then we sing our goodbye song. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's do it. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Bene. <laughs> it's so I can play the guitar and the harmonica at the same time. All right, how about this? When I play, you know what you have to do. What do you have to do in freeze dance? When the music plays, you. And when the music stops, you. Freeze. Okay, here we go. You can watch it, but smile. This time, when you freeze, try to do a <laughs> surprise freeze <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Here we go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, okay, now we'll, we'll all get on our line and sing Philip our farewell song. That was so fun. I enjoyed doing that freeze, watching the freeze dance this time. All right, so Philip, you can stand up with us. Okay. And, and Donay, would you like Love to be to. next to Philip? We'll make a line this way and make a, yeah, here, Philip, you just move right okay. up there. Okay, do I need to flip this no, over? Do we no, have a? Nope, just, okay. just stand right there right. and join the song. Excellent. We're going to keep singing, keep looking up, okay? Here, make room for everybody. Here we go. Donay and Maddie can hold hands. Okay. okay. How about Aurora? Will you hold Jeanette and your other hand? And she likes to keep singing the, the closing song too. Okay. Milo, you want to keep your hands to yourself this time? That's fine. Okay. Ready? Keep singing. Keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing. Keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Oh my goodness, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching and thank you for having me on your show. Oh, we're glad you could come, Philip Alexander from Boston. Thank you for coming. Bonjour, Paris. In 1887, they built a tower up to heaven. A symbol in steel of pride. And power. Ooh, la la, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> there you go. Good. Gracefully curving legs, massive yet light. Rise over gay Paris. What a splendid sight. Bonsoir, Paris. This is your shining hour.